We are about to go to the farmer's market and find the freshest, juiciest, most succulent, grown with love pineapple that we can get our hands on. When I choose a pineapple, it really depends on what the purpose is. If I'm going dancing, I made this mistake the first time I ever did it. I got the heaviest pineapple, I'm convinced, that was in the entire store. And that makes for very tired arms. People are going to judge you. People are going to try to chop you down and deter you and tell you not to do things. But that's the noise that you need to cut out when you find your pineapple. The pineapple thing has kind of happened by accident. I was always taking them to music festivals for camping and just to eat. And then it started getting silly, just kind of carrying it around. I uh, never really put too much thought into it. And then ended up going to Costa Rica. A lot of different things happened throughout the journey and throughout the process along the way. There were some pretty, pretty monstrous fruits out there. And I picked up this one at a, at a fruit stand, a little family owned fruit stand. It was literally bigger than my head. So imagine this thing right here. Let's see, it was probably twice the size of this, if you can believe it. That was my companion throughout the entire weekend. It came to the festival. Lots of really transformational moments and eye-opening events. A few weeks later, when I went to this festival called Movement Festival in Detroit, all of the forefathers of the movement, I mean, you got Carl Craig, uh, Kevin Saunderson, Juan Atkins, Derek May, you know, Richie Houghton uh, came out of Detroit. We had stopped into a corner store on our way into the festival the first day, and they had pineapples sitting right by the window, and I just got this thought in my head. You know, I kind of want to just hold this pineapple over my head all weekend and see what happens. I did that, held it over my head for over 22 hours over the course of the three days, literally every moment that I was inside the event. And it's since grown into what it is today. He has a pineapple. I don't know who he is, but it's amazing because of pineapple. And you're just walking around with a pineapple yep. just because. What, what, what's going on with your pineapple? No pineapple, no party. So pineapple is life. I don't. Pineapple is life. I mean, I'm, all, I'm supposed to get a pineapple tattoo. I saw how the pineapple affected people. Um, overwhelmingly in a positive manner that was pulling people out of negative head spaces that might have been having certain thoughts and bringing them back to a positive place and really shifting their perspective in, the, in a single moment. People were using me as a totem and a landmark, not me, the pineapple, like, hey, meet me by the pineapple guy. I don't think it's any accident that I consider it the most significant period of personal growth. One, overcoming the fear and uh, that idea of what people think about you and letting that prevent you from doing something because that could easily prevent me from doing the pineapple thing. All right, farmer's market, here we come. So this guy has seen better days. He's gonna get cut up. We're gonna turn him into some pineapple salsa when we get home. As soon as we walk in. Picking out the pineapple really depends on its purpose. You know, if we're gonna go, if we're gonna go to a festival and we're gonna be dancing with it, I wanna try to find one that's a little bit lighter. If it's a festival one that's a little bit greener, because uh, it'll last longer over the course of the weekend. It's holding this thing over, over your head all day is surprisingly, I guess not so surprisingly, really, really exhausting. I think we got our winners. Never buy pineapples from chain stores. Adopt a pineapple, save a life. I think the farmer's market might be my new favorite place. Two for five. You can't beat that. Not to mention all the stuff that we got. Shit, I even got, I even got a dragon fruit. <laughs> when, when was the last time you saw a dragon fruit? I didn't even know what a dragon fruit was. It's funny how that works. You know, pineapple, you eat it. It gives you the energy, the nutrients we need because we're going to go out there and cut it up on the, on the dance floor.